We're now going to provide some definitions related to transformations. And transformations are when we take a normal graph, a, a graph from our library, and we change it. It still keeps its same basic shape, but we either move it, reflect it, or scale it. So it goes, it rises faster, it moves around, it's not quite what we remember it being before, but it still looks vaguely like what we started as. And so we've got two different types of transformations. We've got what we call rigid transformations. These are fixed transformations, where the best way to think of this is to think of a structure made out of Legos. And we start with this, these, this Lego piece. Let's just start with the, you know, our simple two by two Lego piece. And if we move that around, it's still a two by two Lego piece, but it's just moved. So all we've done is move the points around, but they're still the same proximity to each other. And a vertical shift is when we do this movement up or down. We only go, we only move the values of y. That's it. All the x's stay the same. And a horizontal shift is we move left or right. We leave our y values the same, but we change some x values. And so these are our shifts. That means we're moving things around, we're keeping track of them, and that's, that's all we have. Well, there's one other rigid transformation, and it's called a reflection. And this is when we use that symmetry property, but we don't leave anything behind. We move the graph around by changing signs. So for instance, if my graph looks like this, if we have a square root, I can reflect it this way. So it's the same graph, but it's going down instead of up. Or I can reflect it so it's going backwards, or I can reflect it so it's going backwards and down. All of these are reflections of the main graph. The points are still in the same relative place, they just move in how they refer to each other. Now a non-rigid a non-rigid transformation is one where we stretch things apart. So think of taking silly putty, and you've got it in your hands, and you've got this glob of silly putty, and you grab it on both ends and you pull apart. Well, that shape still is roughly the same type of shape, but now it's stretched out. And if we had a word on here, let's just say it had no, now that no is going to be stretched out. That's a non-rigid transformation. Some point of reference is still the same, but the majority of the graph has changed, has moved, has become different, and it stretches it out. Or it's possible that we could push it in, and so this circle right here could just become really, 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 really skinny, and that no becomes really hard to read because it's squished in. So this is stretching and this is compressing. And a vertical stretch or compression is when we do this on the Y. We stretch or compress on the Y values. So they either become closer together or farther apart. And the horizontal is when we stretch or compress on the X values. So this particular example I showed right here, this is a horizontal. A vertical would be taking that no and pulling it up or down so it becomes a really tall no or it becomes a really, really, really small no. But that no basically stays the same. It just gets stretched or compressed, pushed together, pulled apart. So those are the definitions we need for transformations.